Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to the Creative Council. My name is Natasha and today we're going to be discussing the meaning of money, checks, and credit cards in a dream. So we're going to start with money. So let's say you have a dream where you're finding money or you're giving money. What is that going to mean? Typically, depending on the context, money is going to be uh, gaining favor, power. It could be multiplication. It could be provision, a symbol of wealth, a spiritual riches, authority. Um, it could be strength of uh, man because you're using your power to get it. You're working to gain it. And then on the negative, it could be greed, covetousness, things of that nature. So, for instance, um, I actually had a dream where I was uh, sleeping and someone came and woke me up to uh, help them find something. And as we were looking for uh, what this this uh, is like a flash drive. I was looking in these different places and I ended up finding money because we were looking in my one my, one of my rooms and I found money. I found a $20 bill and I said, oh my goodness. So then I kept looking. I found another $20 bill and then I looked in another bag and I found a 10 and a, fi a, 10 and a 5, which is 15. And after that, we couldn't find the flash drive. So I felt in the dream, I felt an impression, the Holy Spirit to say, said to go look in the car. So I said, let's go look in the car. We went to look in the car and it was in the car. And we both were praising God. And then we ended up driving. She was driving. And I was sitting in the passenger seat. So what does that mean? Well, like I said, if you're finding money, it's going to be provision. It's going to be a representation of God's provision and gaining favor. So in that dream, in the instance in that dream, that was representation of me, all, things already being provided. Because I found money that was already there. I just didn't know it was there. So me being willing to help someone else with what they needed in that process, I was going to be blessed and God was going to provide for me and I didn't have to work for it. It actually was already there, but I would not have gained it unless I was helping others. So by helping others, I was able to um, not only be provided for what God needed for me, but he granted me favor and I was able to help the other person and um, be a part of their ministry. Um, that's what the car represents. She was driving and I was with her helping her um, with what she needed in that portion or whatnot so it just depends on elements other elements of the dream so like I said if you're finding money that's typically what that means it could be also you want to look at the, the money so it's a 20 20 a 10 and a 5 so that's 55 well 5 is the number of grace and it was two five. so that's two is uh, um, double or witness but it can also be a double portion or multiplicate multiplication and then five off five plus five also equals ten so 10 is a representation of perfection. So if you're finding money, add the bills up. And then also if you're finding money and it's like an odd bill that doesn't exist, like a $30 bill or a $1,000 bill or $500 bill, that's going to definitely represent favor and uh, create creative favor and just a supernatural, um, uncommon fa uh, favorite um, provision in that way. So think about those kind of aspects when you're uh, th uh, when you're dreaming and if you're having dreams about money. So also, like I said, it could be a negative thing. So it could be, a, a, you know, you being, you know, greedy um, what in greed is, uh, you know, money is the love of money is the root of all evil. Money is not evil in itself. It's a tool. It's a resource, but the love of money is the root of all evil. So on the negative side, it could be covetousness and greed. Um, and the Bible talks about that a lot. So if you are dreaming of, uh, checks, checks, so someone writes you a check, that's going to be favor, the favor of God. So if someone's writing you a check or you find a check or you got a check in the mail in a dream, that's going to be a representation of favor and specifically financial provision where money could be provision and, you know, uh, other aspects of life or favor in relationships, favor in connections, favor in, you know, just not necessarily m monetary, but a check is going to be specific to per, uh, financial favor and financial provision. What about a credit card? Well, a credit card is basically you, uh, it represents debt because and it's you attempting to walk in something that you don't have yet. And um, it could be a, a lack of trust, uh, presumption, 
you, like I said, attempting to walk in something you don't have uh, yet and, and just a lack of trust in the Lord and his provision for you. So that could be a representation of that because it is an instrument of debt. So that's what a credit card is. Um, now, that is not always the case. If it's like a debit card and you're like at an ATM making a withdrawal, then that's going to be different because that money is already secure. It's already there. So if you're in a dream and you, like someone had a dream, they went up to an ATM, they were making a withdrawal, and there was somebody behind them who was in a dark suit or whatever and trying to intimidate them, but they still made their withdrawal and they were able to do it. So um, that's, you know, making the depart, withdrawing from what God has provided. Usually uh, the currency of heaven is faith. So if you're making deposits and withdrawals, that's going to be a representation of faith, when, specifically when it comes to money, because it's all about faith when it comes to money, trusting God and having faith that he will provide for you. So for instance, in that dream, her standing at the ATM making a withdrawal um, of what, all, what already was there for her. And then that person was represent, represented a spirit um, trying to intimidate her and um, invoke fear because what's the opposite of faith is fear. So fear was trying to come against her walking in faith and uh, withdrawing faith, uh, um, what God has provided from her for her in her faith account. Um, because faith is a currency of heaven. So God was going to do some great things in her life and the enemy was just trying to come against her. So in those type of dreams, you just cancel it out. You come against whatever spirit may be trying to come against you and you declare the opposite of what God says about your life and about your finances and um, different scriptures pertaining uh, just tither. The tithe is right if you're a tither or if you're a giver um, and you stand on those principles and you fight it that way. So I hope that was helpful. That's the, typically the meaning of money in a dream. And if you have different, you know, elements in the dreams that pertaining around finances, uh, let me know in the comments. And if it's enough of the common theme of something, then I'll go ahead and do a video. Um, and also, I will be linking in the description box uh, as well a dream dictionary online for you guys to check out. It's free. So you'll just go to my website and hopefully it will just help you and aid you in your understanding of dreams. And then uh, later on, I'll actually be having a dream dictionary that you can purchase with extensive uh, elements and symbols as well so to just uh, so that will help you in your understanding of your dreams and God's nighttime parables to you so hope that was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time or I will see you in the next video and until next time be healed be whole be free bye